Hey planner friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be planning from the 10th to the 16th of January in my medium passion planner. Let's get started. So the kit that I'm using this week is hot chocolate from Strawberry Lime Designs, but I also had a whole bunch of freebies from the 2020 Black Friday Cyber Monday sale from Plannerface, which used the same art. So aside from some slight differences in like colours because of the different printers, I figured I could use these both together and have loads to choose from for this week. I also grabbed a freebie from a November order from Plannerface, which had all of these cute winter doodles on, which I thought went perfectly with this kit because Strawberry Lime Designs kits don't come with any deco, so I figured I could use those instead. I do PR for Plannerface, so you can use my code in the description to save yourselves a little bit of money and also mention me for a freebie. As usual, I've started off the base of my spread by shading in the parts of the timelines where I'm going to be asleep, and then going in with my Grace to Below fine liner to mark in my alarm times, and split my personal and work to do sections in half to give myself some extra checklist space. I've also created a five day habit tracker in the bottom left hand corner for things that I have to do at work every single day, and marked in the start and end of my work day with my light blue passion marker, which is my theme colour for January. Next I'm just adding in my meals, so using my Pilot Friction Pen to write in breakfast, lunch and dinner pretty much every day. I don't add in breakfast on days where I don't have an alarm set just in case I have a little sleep in. And then I'm going to start highlighting over all of these meals and also colouring the daily focus boxes of days where I'm not going to be at work using my light blue passion marker which is as I said my theme colour for January. I'm also going to highlight over all of the check boxes in the bottom left hand corner to keep that pop of my theme colour going throughout the spread. So that is it for my pen base, now I can start adding some stickers in and as usual I'm starting with my meal plan tracker which is just something I made in Excel and print off on sticker paper myself. Check out my video for how to make stickers with barely any equipment if you want to know how I do that. For the rest of my sidebar I'm adding in a habit tracker from the kit to mark in my daily check-in and then this decorative box over the quote section. And to fill in the weekly focus box I'm just adding this box that came on one of the planner face freebies. For my washi headers I've cut one of the 15mm strips in half so that I can cover my work and personal to-do list headers and also the space with a possibility header. And then from the second washi strip I've cut a 6mm piece so that I can create my extra gratitude header in the bottom left hand corner. With Strawberry Lime Designs kits they do have like a sidebar piece on the second bit of washi so I've just lined that up with the rest of the washi and then you can't really tell once it's all laid down. To finish off the base of my spread I'm just going to add in the weekend banner and then we can get into my daily planning. Oh and these weekend banners from Strawberry Lamb Designs can be a little bit delicate so maybe don't rip them off the sheet like I have in the past. So zooming in and starting on Monday I'm first marking that I was duty scientist so I've used a quarter box from the kit and then a skinny event label from one of the planner face freebies to mark in the two sessions on Monday and I'm also using one of the joy of planning scientist girls that I have to mark that in as well. I'm then using one of my pinky stickers printables to mark in my yoga class in the evening. Moving on to Tuesday and I'm first using one of the patterned headers that comes in the Strawberry Lamb Designs kits and a planner face work from home script to mark that I was working from home. There's no glitter headers in this Strawberry Lime Designs kit, so I'm going to be using a lot of these marshmallows throughout the week. I've then used another Pinky Stickers printable to mark in my first weight session of the week, and then we can move on to Wednesday, where I started off using a quarter box from the kit and this coffee cup doodle to mark in a meeting that I had, which is actually on Thursday morning because I read what was on my screen incorrectly in front of me, so I'll move that in a minute. But I'm then using another quarter box from the kit to mark in my usual Wednesday afternoon seminar. Next I'm marking in working from home on Thursday in the same way that I marked it on Tuesday and then I'm going to realise that I popped that meeting on the wrong day so I'm going to move that box from Wednesday over to Thursday morning and replace it with a skinny box from one of the planner face freebie sheets and a receipt doodle which I think was left over from a planner face monthly to mark in that I was send out scientist on Wednesday. This definitely seemed to be the week where we were making up for the fact that there were no meetings over Christmas and they decided to have them all on this week because this was when most people were back. So I'm using another quarter box and a planner face doodle on Thursday afternoon to mark in yet another meeting. <laughs> so 
Moving on to Thursday evening, I'm using another fancy event label from the kit with another Joy of Planning Girl, this time the weightlifting one, to mark in that I had a PT session. It wasn't the best PT session because I was kind of feeling a little bit rubbish all week, but I made the best of it and had a really good catch up with my PT. I've just added a bin doodle onto Thursday to remind me to take the recycling out and then moving over to Friday I'm using a little thing with another laptop doodle from the kit to mark in a meeting that I had on Friday afternoon as well. I'm then using a pinky stickers printable to mark in my interval run and then we can move on to Saturday. So for Saturday I'm marking in my planning time as usual using a flag from the kit and then a planner doodle from one of the planner face freebies. And then I'm using a quarter box with one of the decorative doodles and an edit script from planner face to mark in editing and recording this voiceover. And as usual I will eventually remember to add in my planning script. For Saturday afternoon I'm just adding in another pinky stickers printable for my weight session and then a half box onto Saturday evening with another one of those decorative doodles to mark in whatever we get up to this evening. With Strawberry Lime Designs kits you get a slightly chunkier three heart checklist box than I'm used to but I'm adding that in on Sunday morning as usual to mark in my cleaning time and decorating it with another one of the planner face doodles from one of the freebies. To mark in uploading this video, as usual I've cut a piece from the Monday to Sunday box to use as washi and then I'm adding an Ickle Co YouTube button icon and an upload script from Planaface and then finishing off Sunday using one of my pinky stickers printables to mark in my last workout of the week and also a skinny event label and a birthday present doodle to mark in my friend's birthday. As usual I'm filling some of the white space in while I'm at work with some decorative boxes from the kit so obviously I had to use this hot chocolate one because this whole kit is hot chocolate themed and then also this cute reading one which just looks so cosy. I trim these boxes down vertically on the sticker paper and then I've cut them horizontally on the planner so they fit nicely within the timelines. To finish off the spread I'm just adding in some heart checklists to mark in the top two or three things that happen in work each day. So to make sure that these fit I've cut the flag portions off the bottom of the checklists and then I'm just squeezing them in where I can. And I couldn't quite fit one in on Friday but Strawberry Land Designs kits come with these cute little check boxes so I'm just squeezing two of those in around that meeting. So once I've repositioned that meeting sticker for what I think is about the fourth time, that's all of my stickers down for the week and now I can fill in all of my plans as usual using my Pilot Friction Pen. So all in all I would say that this week has been a kind of meh week, I haven't felt great all week, I've had a bit of a headache for most of the days and I had to come home from work early on Wednesday to work from home in the dark in the afternoon and I've just felt kind of lethargic and rubbish. I keep doing lateral flows and it's not Covid so I think I'm just getting a little bit run down from trying to put too much on my plate at once. It's also that part of January where everything just feels a bit rubbish because Christmas is definitely over and it's still just really dark and gloomy outside and also this week has been really cold so yeah I think there's just a lot of things that are kind of all coming together on this week to make me feel a bit rubbish but it's not the end of the world and I'm sure I will feel a bit better once everything starts to get I don't know a bit less gloomy and freezing. Like, this has definitely been a week where I've really appreciated having my journal to just jot down all my thoughts at the end of the day and kind of get them out on paper and start working through them. It's also been the kind of week where one of the things that I was grateful for this week was the fact that I managed to get through an entire day of work in the office on Friday rather than having to come home halfway through the day again. But I am not about toxic positivity here so we can just accept that this week was rubbish and move on to next week being better. I feel like this video is super short, but I haven't sped anything up more than normal, so I don't really know what's happened. It seems like a pretty busy week, but apparently it just didn't take me very long to lay everything down. So sorry about that, but I'm sure you all heard enough of me over Plansmas anyway.
My weekly focus for this week was to take breaks when needed and I definitely took that advice that I gave myself at the beginning of the week and was like, Wednesday just isn't working for me, I'm gonna go home. But that's all of my pre-planning done for this week, let's take a look at the finished spread. So here is the spread all filled out and I really like the kind of muted colours of this spread and also those cute little marshmallows all over the place just really made me smile when this week was kind of rubbish. There's not a load to put in my reflection section for this week so I have added a few more of those extra decorative boxes from the kit just to fill in that space. So that's everything for this video friends. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments down below. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed it and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!